So this is the last presentation of this morning. Um, at the end of this, you will be ready to start with the hands-on. But before this, I would like to, uh, to take a bit of time to share some information I have about you and some information I have about the schedule of today and the rest of the week. So um, uh, you may not be aware of this, but uh, EPFL is actually ranked as one of the most international universities worldwide. So I think 2018 was ranked as the most, universe, most international university worldwide. And uh, this is represented also uh, in this workshop. So we have more than 20 nationalities represented. Um, most of you are at the PhD student and postdoc level. But we also have a few software engineers here, researchers from companies. Um, uh, most of you are at the medium level of Python proficiency, so you have some idea of how object-oriented uh, programming works in Python. That's a good place to be in for the tutorial. Um, uh, those with, a, let's say, a bit more basic understanding of Python will maybe have to work a little bit harder, but of course there's all the tutors there to help you. Um, AIDA proficiency. So could the people who have already used AIDA please raise their hand? Every, that's everyone. So remember who is raising the hand. So these are the people who, <laughs> who you could ask if you have problems. Um, but of course, we will introduce everything from the beginning uh, to everyone else. Um, and uh, so this brings me then to the already to the uh, schedule for the next four days. Um, the, the workshop, the, the tutorial is kind of split in half. The first two days will be a, a hands-on tutorial, the first day on AIDA basics and the second day on workflows in AIDA. Um, we have a lot of material to cover and that's why we have virtual machines. We have prepared one virtual machine in the cloud for every one of you. Uh, you will be able to access those virtual machines and to run the tutorial on those virtual machines in order to make sure that there's no issues in terms of computer setup and so on. Um, uh, in terms of what we're going to cover, so we asked which up initial codes you use. It turns out uh, many of you are using Quantum Espresso and many of you are using BASP. And so the beginning tutor the tutorial will be on Quantum Espresso, but then we have uh, Esplan Flagge Larsen here, who is a developer of the AIDA BASP plugin. And you will be able, um, he will, first of all, he will talk about workflows, how workflows work in AIDA BASP, and he will also uh, give you the opportunity to try it on uh, out by yourself. Um, then there's the second half of the tutorial, which is more organized in a workshop way. So the, um, there's um, three groups that you can, uh, the idea is you work on your own project and there's three things you can choose. You can either write a workflow using existing plugins. You can write a plugin, start writing a plugin for your code, or you can work on wrapping an existing workflow in a web application. Uh, and here, in this part, we will be helping you to set AIDA up in your, uh, on your own hardware, if you like. Um, this is how you responded in the questionnaire. Um, this is not final, so you have until uh, Thursday, the open mic session, to decide wh which of these things you would like to work on, and you will get more information on what these three things are, actually mean in the next two days. Uh, this brings me to the schedule. So um, just a few things. Um, it's getting quite cozy in here, right? <laughs> so uh, after this, right after this, we will actually split up uh, into this room and this room. So half of you will stay here and half of you will go there. Um, if, to make it easy, as a, let's say as a basics, we can say always the left person in the table goes, uh, le goes to the left room and the right person stays here. Of course, if you have preferences, you just organize. We both room, so we, we should have more or less half-half in, in the two rooms. Then um, coffee breaks should be right outside. Um, lunch, uh, uh, we, uh, you can do whatever you like. There's a number of uh, restaurants here at uh, the APFL campus. If you haven't gotten the booklet, the booklet will be outside uh, on the table. It has a map of uh, restaurants, but what I recommend is you use the EPL EPL Campus app. It's quite useful. You can see also which menus the, the different restaurants have on which day and so on. Um, yeah, just the, the last, uh, there will be one more short presentation today after the second coffee break. Um, just to mention that for this, we don't need to come all back here. We will try to set up video uh, broadcasting from 
the room here, which is called the Kovitz, to this room. Then, um, so tomorrow uh, we'll start with the highlight talks. So these are invited speakers who are not using AIDA, but who are working on computational workflows, uh, high throughput calculations, and the, we ask them to essentially share some of the common problems that they have and some of the solutions um, so, uh, that are relevant whether you are using AIDA or not. Uh, and these talks will be downstairs in the MED 01418, which is a bigger auditorium. Um, also the Q&A session on Thursday morning and the AIDA lab and materials cloud talks will be in there. What um, does R mean? R, uh, sorry, R means that the talks are recorded. Um, so uh, then uh, tomorrow there will be uh, the poster session uh, downstairs in the hall uh, right there. Um, you can start putting your posters uh, this evening if you like or you can just put them tomorrow. Um, there will be uh, the social dinner on Thursday. It's in the Restaurant Le Débarcadère. So it's just 15 minutes walk from EPFL um, and that's free food and drinks. So I think everybody should come. Um, and finally, uh, these, there's actually uh, quite a few people who were involved in organizing this repository, uh, this uh, tutorial. Uh, so on the one hand, we have an organizing committee of uh, AIDA core and AIDA plugin developers. So they will also help you um, with, with your hands on and they, they are very happy to answer questions for their plugins. There are tutors, um, most of them are either core developers and we have a support, uh, great support from uh, Cornelia for administrative issues, Marco at the recording and then Sneha Kumba and Elsa Passau have helped um, with materials. Could I please ask everybody whose name is on this slide to stand up so that people can see also who they should ask if they have problems? Or maybe raise your hand. People are just left uh, to get some water. I see. Drink, uh <laughs> Anyhow, so I just wanted to say, is these people have put in a lot of work to prepare this tutorial, and I think this deserves a round of applause. Um, in particular, Cornelia, if she's here, she might not be here. Okay. So our secretary, Cornelia, is the contact person for you if you have applied for um, accommodation reimbursements uh, and if you have any questions for this. Um, finally, I'd like to thank also our sponsors. So on the one hand, the Psyche Network, uh, then the Marvel uh, National Center of Competence, the MUX uh, European Center of Excellence, the European Intersect Project, the Swiss Universities Project, and EPFL. So these are the guys who make sure that you have coffee breaks and you have... Uh, uh, social dinner and uh, you get actually your <laughs> reimbursements for accommodation. Uh, thank you very much to these. And um, this, at this point I'll have some time for questions before we, before I share a few, the, the, the final slides on how to get started. Any practical questions at that point? Yes? Where do we find these slides? Yeah, I, I, will, we, I will share them in the uh, Slack channel okay. um, of the tutorial. Any other questions? Yes? Uh, if none of the proposed Wi-Fi solution works for me. Oh, OK. So, so can one of the team maybe uh, get to you and help you with this? Otherwise, I will help you. Thanks. All right. One, one thing yeah. I want to add. So um, some of you arrived a bit later, probably. So there are one, pick, one place to where you have to sign. It's important because who didn't sign, we have the machine uh, killed uh, tonight. So it can't work anymore. Another very important thing is, it may be more important, you have to sign here, put a tick here if you want to come to the social dinner because we're going to give the number at lunchtime to the restaurant. So if you, I see a lot of people didn't tick yet, so. And that's also if you need a certificate of attendance. Yeah, yeah if so. If you have a certificate, please tick here. So we'll print one for you and sign it. After this, uh, go back and make your tick. So uh, we'll have it here, so come to us and don't forget otherwise. <laughs> Thanks, Giovanni. So, um, yeah, so it's time to, <laughs> to go. So that, first of all, you'll need to check your email. You will receive an SSH key via email that allows you to log into your virtual machine. The next thing will be to split 50-50 from here and the COVIDs. And finally, um, you can just go to AIDA.net. On AIDA.net, click on the Tutorials button. And then uh, in the AIDA Tutorials uh, page, 
click on the latest one. So this is the tutorial we're going to do. It's the AIDA Core 1.00 Beta 3 one. Um, one thing I wanted to point out, uh, this is on GitHub. If you don't have a GitHub account, get one. And uh, so, of course, um, if you notice any problems, uh, we're very happy if you report issues. And of course, if you, if you manage to fix issues yourself, that's even better. Um, final remarks. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, lectures marked with R are recorded. There's Oscar who is taking pictures. And if, 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 <laughs> if you don't want to be filmed or you don't want your uh, photo taken, please let us know and we will, of course, respect that. Um, and uh, yeah, so th there is a hands-on channel <coughs> in the AIDA Workflows uh, Slack uh, uh, workspace. And we'll be using that to, for example, to share the link to the slides and to communicate things that come up uh, during the hands-on. Um, with that, you're ready to go. <coughs> All right. <laughs>